What's up guys, Day Zero Gaming here. I am here to show you guys how to make your clan better. So first off, the number one thing you guys need to do is make sure as many of your people reach level 30 as possible. You need to be helping people out. You need to ha have your other clan mates putting in the work, helping people out. And then a week or two after you create your clan, get rid of anyone who's not level 30. And then get new people. I mean, unless they're like close, like 28, 29, you know, maybe a couple levels, you know. Actually, level 26, because that's when the strongholds open up. So 26 and higher. That way you can run through the strongholds with them. Players that are inactive, kick. I mean, just kick out all the players that you don't need. I am about to start doing this. It's not something I've done myself, but it is really early in the game. People haven't had time, but I can already tell, like, people like Little Rudy, um, Splummy's okay. G.I.G. Frankenbaked, maybe. Little Shruck. Unforgiven. I mean, all these people, like, you see their levels, they need to get up, you know, to Tila. Like, and then, Edda Rocks, and, like, all these other ones, they're doing alright. I'll try to help people, uh... Yeah, it's just crazy. And then anyone says, hey, anyone want to help me out? I mean, just go help them. I mean, it's just five minutes of your day. Tip number two, make sure you have a good leadership structure. So make sure you're talking to your clan mates. I mean, you don't want to just have a clan full of people you don't know. I mean, get friendly, people. Get friendly. I mean, what can I say? You want to make sure you have a leader stru leadership structure of people you know. So the highest, um, like lieutenant. Okay, hold up. So there's recruit, agent, and then there's like lieutenant or something like that. You want to have one or two lieutenants, and then you want to have four or five agents. As you can see, I have two lieutenants, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six agents, you know, somewhere around that. That way, people have something to work towards, and then if someone's slacking, you can always demote them. Tell them, hey, you're not doing as good as this other player, so I'm going to promote them. Once you start showing some more work, we'll see what we can do. I mean, yeah, so get your initial, like, five people to help run the show. I mean... In the army, I mean, the leadership structure changed a lot, you know, during basic training and stuff. You have PG, you have APG. That position's switching out quick. Like, the, someone's not doing good, they get rid of them, get a new person in. Same concept here. You want to just always make sure the best players are the ones in the leadership structure. Which, I'm pretty sure, is what I've done, except for, I think there's like one player. But, don't promote someone you don't know, like... These are all people I've played with. And as you can, except for Yachty. Yachty, I haven't played with, but as I said, he's gear score 199. What am I going to do? Not promote him when I'm promoting a level 16? DD the dog will probably get a promotion. I'll probably de promote one of these players. You see, that's just something you have to do. Always work on your leadership structure. And then, number three, make sure your projects are getting done. So, as you can see, my clans actually ran through most of the projects. All we have to do is neutralize 350 rogue agents and win 245 domination matches. See, if only one player is domina playing domination, that's 245 matches he'd have to play. That's ridiculous. But I have 50 people in the clan. Each of us would only have to play like five matches. I mean, that's the that's where it comes into perspective. I mean, each of us just jump in for five matches and that's done. But the less people that are on, the people that are inactive and stuff, 
it ends up being 10 matches for the people doing it. 15 matches, 20, 25. I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah, make sure all your people are active on that type of stuff. Just weekly. I mean, they're weekly projects. So just have a weekly goal of five matches per person. And just put that on as a message on your board or something. And then weekly caches come with that too. So as you can see, I'm doing all right on the weekly stuff. We'll get the gold tier, I'm pretty sure, now that people are starting to reach level 30. Um, something that's important to say is that should be your main focus. It shouldn't be anything but, like, grinding out these lower players. Because, yeah, the first week you might not get that gold reward, but the sooner they get to 30, the sooner you get to start getting that gold reward. Because all the players that are level 30 are the top three on the board. I mean, you're not going to be earning 8 million experience when you're level 10. You have to get to the point to where you're actually running this stuff. Another um, thing you need to do is make sure that they know you're the leader. No one else can, like, talk down to you. So they join a party, don't let them talk down to you in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I have my channel and stuff. People mock my channel all the time, my YouTube channel. They're like, <laughs> they'd be playing my intro and stuff in the party. I mean, you can't let that stuff get to you. You have to, like, talk them down and make sure you're the alpha male. Because they'll leave the clan. I mean, and that's another point. If someone threatens to leave the clan, let them leave. I mean, there's no point in letting them stay. I mean, if they're going to cause problems, get rid of them. I mean, that's ridiculous. All right, guys. Hope you guys found this tips about clients helpful see you guys in the next one